my gosh you guys this is actually crazy to be sitting here filming with this camera and about to film a makeup tutorial wow this feels like has been so long okay granted i did film like some videos where i'm doing my makeup like should check get ready with me before but not with this camera. It's something about this camera. This camera, it actually kind of doesn't even make sense why I'm making it a point to even say this because <laughs> it's, it's kind of more so of, it's been a while since I have done all the pre-setup before I turned the camera on. So just never mind about all of that. I am so excited to sit down, film, now that this is my first video that I'm filming with my new background, I did do this in my last video with you guys. If you want to see like the whole process of me creating this background, um, this, this is DIY, this is DIY, this is DIY. If you want to see the video, I will link it in this corner of the video. <laughs> uh, but today we are doing a chit chat with me. We're going to be talking about whatever's in the title because i actually don't even know what i'm going to talk about today i had to while i was doing um let me actually get started with doing my makeup but i had to as i was showering and doing my skincare i had to keep telling myself eyes first eyes first eyes first because <laughs> too many times i've sat down and said I'm gonna do my eyes first and then I immediately do my face first because that's just honestly that's just my routine so but I want to do my eyes first and I'm going to prime my eyes I also didn't prepare anything like in the sense of I'm gonna have to be looking for a lot of my makeup because none of it is out to be honest um but yeah that's part of the that's part of the get ready with me, I guess. But one thing that I did want to say, because I feel like I feel so much better now. Um, but these past few weeks, I actually wanted to look up on my phone. When do I think around the time period that I recently was kind of feeling burnt out. Let me see, which, <laughs> like which one of these posts? I would say for the past month, a little bit over a month, I just on Instagram. Now on YouTube, it hasn't really been affected because on YouTube, I only post, well, I was posting on Wednesdays, but now I post on Sundays. And so you guys didn't see like less posts. But because on Instagram, I'm more active, I would say, posting more often, not just once a week. And I felt like I had experienced burnout, even though I was still posting for a lot of that. And then like this last week, week and a half, I haven't really posted anything. I think my last post, I posted today. My last post was like a, uh, about six or seven days ago. And the main reason why I'm bringing this up is because you don't have to be a content creator to experience burnout, to experience like a lack of motivation or any of that stuff. Um, it could be in whatever career that you want, but I just wanted to give context. What I think, what I have decided on, <laughs> the reason why I was feeling burnt out is because I have told you guys this before in the past, I think. I'm like hesitating because have I told you guys this? But I believe I've said that I am a perfectionist. And I feel like when people say that they are a perfectionist, it makes it seem as if they try to be like this perfect uptight person all the freaking time. <laughs> but that's not necessarily what perfectionist means. It um, more so means that you, well, it's different versions of being a perfectionist, but it more so means like you strive to be the best that you can be and nothing is ever good enough for you in your eyes, stuff like that. Um, and that's definitely me. And through my perfectionism, <laughs> pressure creates paralysis. And that's what ended up happening to me this past week. 
that I was like creating so much pressure on myself to what am I going to post? And then when I post, I feel like it wasn't good enough and all of these things. And then it created paralysis. Whatever idea I came up with, I was stressing about it so much in my brain before actually doing it. So then I ended up doing nothing. The crazy part is, is that perfection does not exist. Yet so many of us struggle with perfectionism. And my auntie also told me this quote that she heard somewhere that said, um, don't let perfection be the enemy of good. And I feel like a lot of times that is what I was doing. Like I wouldn't even put up content that was good to like even good to everybody else in a sense the content is amazing to everybody else but here i am picking it apart because of my need for it to be perfect and perfect in a sense of the way it's created the idea because i show up however i'm looking like i don't have the need to be like every hair in place makeup to the t every time i turn on the camera that's not what my perfectionism is. It's more so the idea behind the content, like whatever whatever I'm doing in the video, I guess in a sense. Um, if I'm executing the video perfectly, if it's edited perfectly, how I view it as perfect. And I say all that to say that because of that, I felt like this past week I didn't do anything. And it also worked out though, because this past week was Thanksgiving. So even though I was over here creating pressure on myself to create like, oh, I need to create holiday hair looks and holiday makeup looks, which this video is gonna be a holiday makeup look. <laughs> I was stressing out behind the scenes about how I was being gone. That's like a whole nother issue that I have. Like I put so much pressure on myself to show up all the time, which is kind of what scares me about TikTok, if I'm being honest, because it's like, if in order to grow on TikTok, you have to post what, like, what people say. That you should post like two, three times a day, maybe even more to grow on TikTok. And that is scary in and of itself. So that's kind of why I'm, I'm not on there. So this year coming up, I actually want to work heavily on letting go of perfectionism. Honestly saying that reminded me of, wow, we are actually about to go into 2024. And then when I think about it even further, I feel like I'm getting old because next year would make, it's been 10 years since I graduated high school. And then it's been six years since I graduated college. What the heck? Time literally flies. You couldn't have told me that that was going to happen. So I remember growing up. Also, Chai is playing with his toy over here. And it's a noisy toy. <laughs> it sounds like a paper bag. Like somebody wrestling papers. But he loves these type of toys. So I keep buying them. But they're very noisy. <laughs> but anyway, if you, when I was growing up, I feel like time moved so slow you couldn't have convinced me that when i got older time was gonna start moving fast i would have heard you but i've been like nah nah so when i think of holiday glam holiday makeup looks i think of multiple different looks i would say one would be like a soft glam look with just like a glossy pink deep pink glossy deep red glossy deep burgundy stuff like that like a very soft look. Then I would think of like gold on the eyes, very smoky eye, nude lip, or gold smoky eye, red lip. Then I would think literally no makeup anywhere else, and then a matte red lip, classic. Um, then I would think white eyeshadow on the eyes, red lip, glossy lip, burgundy lip, whatever the case. There's so many directions you can go in. But I feel like everything in my mind goes back to red on the lips. <laughs> um, but we'll see what happens with that. But today I'm actually, I'm actually gonna be using the MAC Connecting Color Eyeshadow Palette Future Flame. You know what, I should actually look up if this eyeshadow palette even still is available. Because I swear I be having a bunch of limited edition eyeshadow palettes. Oh yeah, it's still available. It's actually on sale. 
on Ulta for $37.80 and it's normally $54. So I'm going to start with this shade right here. And I guess I'm going to go with like a uh, um, gold, I guess, smoky eye. But anyway, so back to the burnout. I'm feeling like I'm getting back into the groove. And also, let's talk about the fact that I kind of never take breaks <laughs> like when it comes to you want it to be picked up you want to say hello Chai. say hello say hello <laughs> he said to who <laughs> and then he's gone it's like he wants to get picked up and then he immediately wants to be let go like and now he wants to be picked up again this is like us all day long you want to come up here come on then you, I'm doing something. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I am getting the motivation again. But, oh, what I was saying was I never really take breaks. Like a dedicated time period to where I'm saying, okay, I'm going to take off. It kind of just happens all of a sudden. Like what just happened uh, this past week. And like I said, this month and a half, I just kind of been feeling like this past week was inevitable of me just not working. <laughs> and granted, when I say like I wasn't working in the background, I was working, but I wasn't posting. So that was like another layer, but it was good to take a break from posting. I'm motivated again in a sense. And also through this time, I feel like I have been practicing gratitude, but that has been longer than just this past week. We're just like, really practicing just being grateful and thankful for the position that I'm in um for the things that I've accomplished which can be a lot for me sometimes to even you know give myself praise for that now I'm gonna use this shade right here amber lights oh wait amber lights I think is a very popular matte shade <laughs> so I've just really been thankful which, you know, Thanksgiving helped too. <laughs> but just really thinking about everything that I'm just so grateful for. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for this career. I'm grateful to be living in Miami. Like Miami is so cool, you guys. And what's crazy is, this is like on a whole different topic, but what's crazy is, you know, like when you're growing up, there's like certain places that you and your friends talk about all the time. Like, oh, when we graduate, we're going to go out of town and do this or whatever the case. I'm going to move here. I'm going to move there. Miami was never a city that I had ever even thought of. In fact, it wasn't even like a conversation amongst my friends and stuff that we were even going to go vacation. I, and like family vacation to Miami. So the fact that what 10 years later bringing that back up that is crazy. Okay now this shape right here. Uh, so the fact that 10 years later I'm actually living down here and I never even thought about visiting here or anything like that is like super crazy. I feel like the places we would go vacation like people would talk about would be New York I wanted to move to LA so bad growing up and now I'm like I don't see myself leaving Miami <laughs> which by the way I re-signed my lease you guys so we are here we are here we are here to stay for a long time not just a good time <laughs> but yeah so I've just been so grateful here lately for everything. Family, friends, Chai, me. <laughs> I'm grateful for how much I've grown, how many ways I have just changed for the better over this past year. It's the end of November. At the beginning of next month, what, the 8th through the 10th? Art Basel. So December 8th, 9th, 10th is Art Basel, which is going to be so fun uh little history lesson <laughs> is that um art basel is an annual art fair that was started in uh basel switzerland 
by I think like either three or four artists. And it's a time period where people come together and look at hundreds of different art installations, whether that's uh, photography, art, sculptures, paintings, um, live art, whatever the case. And the actual, so like I said, it was started in Basel, Switzerland. And then I think 2002, maybe, 2002, they brought it to Miami Beach and it is now an annual event. The actual event, last year it was on the beach. I don't know if every year it's on the beach, but it was on the beach in like a tent that they set up. So you weren't actually like in the sand. It was an actual tent. And um, you walk through, it's so many art pieces from people all around the world. But the additional part is there are like tons and tons and tons of parties and different installations all across Miami. Might be like a certain artist rented out a place at one of the one of the famous restaurants here in, in like this little area and then it's like an art installation within this restaurant and you go for cocktails if you drink, light bites and stuff like that. And it's so many different events all over the city. It's so fun. People come in town for it. Actually, one of my friends from college is coming in town for it, so she's going to be here. And then one of my friends, like, within the influencer world that I went to our Basel with last year. Yeah, no. That I went to Swim Week last year. Oh, was that just last year? I feel like I've been here way longer than just a little over a year. But, uh, yeah, I do believe that was last just last year we went to swim week together and she's coming for art basil but this is like another thing that i had no idea about before i moved down here which is crazy because this is such a big event down here art basil it's just like how have you never heard of it but it's so cool it's literally so cool all the things that they have going on and it's really art week, <laughs> but it's only like three full days of the actual um, thing that's like open to, I guess, everybody that you can buy tickets for to actually see the art and stuff like that in the actual uh, like convention space that has all of them. And then like the additional things that's all across the cities, all across the city is usually invite only, but then there are a lot of things that you can sign up to go RSVP for and all that. Um, so that's going to be coming up. I think I'm going to vlog that week. That'll be fun to vlog the art places I end up going to. My friends coming in town. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of wanted something a bit more bolder when it came to the gold on my eyes. So I think I'm going to add another shade or something like a, maybe like a liquid eyeshadow i swear it sounds like somebody arguing in the parking lot like what actually is happening i don't know and i don't want it to be that much different you know i'm gonna use this this is the georgia money eye tint in the shade what 45 i'm gonna put it on here on a brush and then apply Which eye did I do? I don't think that helped. Did I not put enough? Stop playing around and put it on here. <laughs> there we go. That's holiday for ya. You know what? I need to text my auntie this. My other auntie. <laughs> not the one I was talking about earlier. With the quote. But she was like asking about holiday movies. And I said the Grinch. And <laughs> she was like. <laughs> but um office christmas party with jason bateman is actually hilarious jason bateman is like my favorite human <laughs> so funny i love pretty much every movie he's in he's funny without even trying to be funny his podcast with and it's so crazy because all three of them are funny but i don't even think i know the, the other ones the other two guys names <laughs> 
I'm sure they would not like the fact that only Jason is the one that, that people, well, that I know. I don't know if they would care. <laughs> but still. Okay, I like that a whole lot better. What do you guys think? It's way better. So I actually have been wanting to do this new... Okay, it's not new. <laughs> this thing where you set with loose powder and then you go on top for any areas like underneath your eye or whatever that you want a bit brighter with a pressed powder. But I am still on the hunt for the perfect shade when it comes to the pressed powder. Because I went to um, Ulta the other day and they had a sale on MAC powders. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. You can give me a powder from MAC. But then I was having such a tough time because none of the shades I really just loved. Uh, I ended up getting NC35, but I truly think this is too... Well, I didn't think it was too light in the store. Well, I did think it was too light, but they were like sold out of everything. So I got it doesn't work and I'm gonna have to return it and get another shade also in that same trip I bought these lashes that's supposed to last for like 10 days the kiss foscara what are this these uh the multi-pack natural wispies I don't even know if these are the ones that I saw I saw this video uh it was like an ad for them those lashes but I don't even know if that was the right style also, I know that I'm putting this on after powder. I forgot. <laughs> so, we are going to do our best uh, and try to blend this on top of powder. But anyway, when I got these lashes, I for one don't think I got enough because I literally think this is going to fill up one of my eyes for the way that I want them to look. But I don't know. This might be enough. Uh, but... I didn't get all the stuff that I needed. I need like three other products. I need like the bond and seal. Oh wait, I think that's the only thing I need. <laughs> Cause I have the overnighter. I think I just need the bond and seal. I didn't get that. So I'm going back to Ulta, probably today. But the fact that Target now has Ulta in it, they might have that at Target because I need to go to Target too. I need some paper towels, you guys. Being an adult is actually crazy. You gotta remember to buy paper towels, toilet tissue, not fun stuff. <laughs> you, you gotta buy it. I guess you don't got to. I absolutely love this bronzing powder. Why does it look like this side of my face is darker? Like the lighting. But they're literally the same. I don't know. Don't know. I need to clean. <laughs> I need to clean. Um, I just got a text from my dad. What is he talking about? Literally, my dad is playing Pac-Man on his TV. How is he even doing that? I'm going to play. so funny but i've said this before i think on threads but i don't think we hype up target enough with the fact that target ulta and starbucks in the same store like stop that's like the best combo ever so i'm gonna apply lashes i'm using the preta porter uh kiss lashes and lash couture masterpiece these lashes oh wait they're not in there <laughs> why am i showing y'all that these lashes um, I love these. They are super wispy, which is kind of the look I was trying to create with, or I'm going to create with these. Um, and they'll last for 10 days. I actually need to find the, um, ad again so I can make sure that I even bought the right lashes too. Um. But the way I like to apply these is like really lift up the ends and then push down the front so that it gives like a cat eye look. Um, but I have 
So make sure I keep doing it until it dries in place. Cause they'll lift if you don't like on the inner corners. So you gotta make sure you keep pressing them down so they glue into that spot. But uh, so what did you guys get for Black Friday? Did y'all get anything amazing? I feel like I didn't really uh, because I kind of wasn't prepared in a sense. I feel like there was a lot of things I bought in the weeks leading up that I could have waited to buy. Cause it didn't even dawn on me to stop like that everything was gonna be on sale. But I did think I got a few things. Well, I got one thing from Victoria's Secrets cause when you lose weight, <laughs> your tatas will change. So I had to um, get a different size. So, I, so, and then everything was, I think like 40% off. So that was good. No, I think at the time that I bought it, it was 30% off. And then I walked past the store the other day, yesterday, and everything was 40% off. And I was like, see, I should have waited a little longer. And then I bought um, something for my balcony, like a different cover for my beanbag chair that's out there. And then, what else? Oh, I bought a wig. I bought a wig, you guys, and the wig has 4C edges. I am so excited to see this wig. It's, um, it hasn't gotten here yet. But I am so excited to see it and customize it and everything. Um, I'm like literally talking to you guys with this beard, this powder beard on me. But, uh, yeah, I am super excited. I asked you guys over on Instagram if you guys want to see a video of me customizing it because I plan on dyeing it the same color as my hair, which I always get asked, what is the color of my hair? I have no idea. <laughs> I literally have no idea because it is a multitude of different colors. But when I do dye my roots, which should be soon, to be honest, because they are kind of growing in. But when I do redye them, I am really going to work hard to actually figure out what I'm doing when I'm doing it because last time you know we got time I can tell you guys the story last time that I dyed my hair I actually messed up so because I messed up I had to do a color remover on those parts and it didn't remove all of it and then I had to go on top of it with a color and then on top of that with a toner that's the reason why when I, when people ask me and I say I have no idea, it's because none of what I did is like what you should do to get the color because you wouldn't, you wouldn't need to do a color remover and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So it's hard for me to say because I don't think that's the way to get the color. <laughs> so, and I obviously don't remember those shades, like the colors that I used and everything, but one thing that I will recommend though is, I don't know if you guys know this, but Sally's, they have a color consultant that's on duty sometimes. Like somebody in there that's actually, that actually knows color or supposed to know color. So those are the ladies that I actually had help with to even come up with what I did. Um, and also to make things even more complicated is that when I did do all of what I did, what I, all of what I just said, it's not even the color of my ends. So like you can see that like, right here, cause she had me do like more of a shadow root color, um, which shadow roots means that like it kind of looks like your hair is growing in, but it's really like I'm dying it to match this to make it look like this is my natural color you know so it's a little bit darker here it's like a whole thing so even if i told you guys the color it would be this color that i would be telling you not even the ends part the lightest part it's like a whole thing having colored hair it's like a little it's a science and i originally was going to a hairstylist um to get my color done and that was actually a disaster my hair texture changed going to an actual salon. Well, the first place I went to, she completely used like a different color, a different 
color that was not correct. Um, and so then I had to go to someone to remove it. Then when I went to someone else, it's, it's like a whole thing. So I just decided to do the color myself and with the help of people from Sally's. And so, yeah, having color hair is a whole thing. But anyway, back to the wig part. I'm probably just going to bleach the wig and just stop it when it kind of looks like this. That is what I think I'm going to do. And then maybe a toner or something. But because you guys said yes in the poll, I am going to be doing a full video of me customizing it, gluing it on and all that's going to be fun over here. So it'll be a whole wig customization video. And I think it's really going to be even more fun because I am a total beginner when it comes to wigs and everything. And it's funny because one of the videos that I like to watch, like, on my free time is wig application videos, yet I don't wear wigs. It is the craziest thing. Like, why do I sit and watch wig videos and I don't wear wigs? It's so relaxing to watch somebody melt the lace in place <laughs> when it looks so flawless. That is so relaxing to me. And I just be watching wig videos all over YouTube. Um, so anyway, I feel like I know exactly what to do, but Knowing and it actually coming out good, two different things. So it's going to be fun. That video is going to be really fun. I'm excited about that. So whenever that wig comes in, we'll be doing that video. Because I had to get like the wig, the size that I wanted in the wig takes an additional seven days. So, and I got to wait till all the glue and stuff comes in because I ordered new glue because I already had wig glue. Which, why did I have wig glue already? I had wig glue, I got melting spray, like lace melting spray. I got everything, but I felt like the stuff that I had might be expired, so I bought new stuff. Because it was Black Friday. <laughs> but anyway. I'm trying not to go ham on the blush. But also, I really do want blush today. It's so pretty. This blush is actually from L'Oreal and it is stunning. I absolutely love this shade. But it's the shade Daring Rosewood. It looks so pretty. And honestly, when you see this, it looks so lackluster. Like, it couldn't be not. Literally, I would have left this on, like, at the store if I saw this. Because it doesn't look like it's going to be this pretty. But it's so pretty and, like, soft. And I absolutely love this blush. And I love the fact that it's matte too. That makes it so much better, to be honest. But I might have just added a little too much. But you know what? Never fear. Because your girl do this all the time. So what does she do when she applies too much blush? She gets a brush that's mostly clean. I just wiped it off a little. And go back in with... The face powder that I use and kind of softly wipe on top to like melt it in. Okay, now I'm gonna spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Prep and Set Mist Plus. So I don't think that my lash band um, is even a different color. Because I can't actually see, but I'm going to go on top of it with a black liquid liner just to make sure. This makes it to where, like, when you look down, it looks seamless, you know? This is, like, such an important step and, like, a thin line I like to do. You know, now that I've talked about Office Christmas Party, I want to watch that tonight. <laughs> the movie. There's so many other people in it, too. I just kind of don't know people's names. <laughs> I don't know a lot of actors' names, which is kind of bad, honestly. All right, now I'm going to add the Fenty Beauty Hell Thick Mascara uh, to the bottom. Like, my actual lashes, not all the way up, just so that it blends. I always apply my mascara messy, so I am really going to try to not do that this time. <laughs> Almost messed up there. 
Okay. That is coat number one. I love this mascara. It's so good. My little faux moles that I like to draw now. <laughs> it took me a while to get in the trend, and now the trend is not even a trend, I don't think. But that's me. Always late to the trends. The Fenty Beauty Mean Money Hustler Baby Highlighter. The more intense one on this side. But yeah, I am so excited for that wig to come in. And the thing is, I already know that I'm probably not going to wear it that much. But it'll be fun to have something that I can just throw on. Because I actually genuinely like wearing my natural hair. But some days, I be wanting to put it up. Like, not even deal with it. And I think my hair would like that, too. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else do we want to do? Guess now we need to just uh, put on our lip. We put on MAC Night Moth Lip Pencil. It's a deep purple. So I'm like really blending it in so there aren't any harsh lines. And then taking some of it off in the center. And then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade The MVP. The look of this color is so, so pretty. But it does transfer. Um, so you do have to make sure you take it with you. Like in your purse and stuff. But it is absolutely stunning like the way it looks like the um color the velvety matteness just to make this a little more bold i'm gonna put this the um liquid eyeshadow we used in the inner corner as well oh my goodness i love this look all right i'm gonna fix this eyebrow and then go put on my outfit and we are done so this is the completed look i genuinely love how this came out this is so pretty and so classic i honestly would wear this if i was going to a holiday party because it is so classic it would go with anything um, so I hope you guys find this helpful if you're needing help with thinking of any makeup looks this holiday season or just in general. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe before you leave and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful. And I promise I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys.